I think I speak for everyone when I say 2020 was an interesting year. One that we've never experienced before. Now that we have entered 2021 and times are starting to feel like they are going back to normal, we still have to recognize COVID still exists. The COVID vaccine was released this year in 2021, and we've heard plenty of different opinions. We first talked to Brandon, who has had mixed feelings about the vaccine. I'm waiting to get my second dose of the Moderna shot. Uh, I didn't want to get the vaccine just because of how untested it is. There's multiple sides to every story. And we talked to John Belmonte, who is strongly opinionated and is highly against the COVID vaccine. And he tells us why and his reasonings behind it. I don't know if the government's against me in this either. I mean, it seems like they're trying to push us to get it as much as, as fast as possible. Why such a rush? I understand that it's a pandemic, but it doesn't make any sense on why it got pushed out so far and there's other pharmaceuticals that take years to get pushed out. And of course, there's another side to this story, a scientific side. We sit down with Diane, who's a nurse, as she tells us about the studies that epidemiologists can do. Epidemiologists might be interested in studying the number of cases, the number of deaths, the demographics, maybe a map of the outbreaks, and then over time looking at the effectiveness of treatments and then potentially eradicating the disease forever. I was really surprised at how wide-ranging and diverse epidemiological work is. 